Hey guys, welcome back. And today I thought I'd do a video on uh, some sleeping tablets I used to take called anti-tryptoline. I can't quite pronounce it properly, but we'll put it kind of like in a in a description below. And my experience on them, because I know the sertraline video I did uh, a couple of a couple of months ago was um, quite popular. Uh, so I thought I'd do this one. So I really struggle with sleep. I always have. I've had nightmares. I go to the toilet a lot and especially coming into the mental illness I found I really needed to sleep again um, spoken about sleep before and how important it is and I and I know even if I did get the odd good night's sleep I would feel so much better and if I didn't I'd have to sleep during the day to kind of make up for it so I ended up going on some sleeping tablets and at first, I was quite anxious about going on them. I wasn't all about tablets and things like that. And then I was just like so tired. I was just like, I'm just going to take it. So I took one and I had a really good night's sleep. Um, and I kept doing it. And uh, I kind of had one a night. And then maybe if I really wanted a good night's sleep, I would have two. Um, so I would start having two every night. And then I went to three. Then I had three every night, and again, I, um, I shouldn't have done this, it was a bit kind of extreme. Um, I mean, taking three, I remember waking up, looking back, being so dazed during the day, I was still tired. Um, and something interesting, uh, my boyfriend looked up a study, correct me if I'm wrong down below, but kind of looking at the study, I can kind of relate to it, and sleeping tablets kind of relax the body and um, the muscles etc but they don't switch off the brain so you don't mentally still get a, a proper rest you're, you're kind of sleeping but not if that makes sense so I would still be knackered during the day and I wasn't all there looking back my family are like okay you're so much more awake now and um, so I was just like a zombie really um, and I was kind of reliant on these tablets, but I didn't take them, uh, well I never didn't take them actually, I made sure I took them religiously. So in the summer, I just thought, do you know what, I'm going to try and get off these, I've got some time before I go back to university. Um, and I did, but stupid I stopped them straight away, and uh, that was a bad idea, I should have, don't know why I didn't think maybe I'll go back down to two and then go back down to one, just stop them straight away like I did, um, with the search lean in a way and uh, should have learned from my lessons but always learn the hard way and I had such bad headaches for a couple of months like pretty much the whole summer I had headaches I was in bed a lot um couldn't sleep that well but I thought well, after kind of a a week or two I just thought well I've cut them out now I'm just going to carry on and ride it out so I did and um and I'm so much better now I kind of had to go on them to realise that they didn't work for me. I'm a very all or nothing person, so I think that's why I went to the extreme. I think if you take them, again, I'm, I'm not a doctor or anything, but in my experience, if you take them kind of once, if you need a good night's sleep, if you're absolutely knackered, take them then, but I got addicted to them every night. So that was a bad idea. Um, my sleep's a lot better. I feel like when I go to sleep, I actually sleep rather than kind of not sleeping but feeling like I slept but not. Um, so that's my experience. I'd love to hear if you guys have any um, questions or knowledge on it to correct me on or whatever but um, yeah so I will see you soon. Bye!